Welcome back everybody. It's been a while since I've um, done a video, so I apologize about that. Been really busy with uh, business life and all that. But um, I got in a really, really old computer. It's, uh, it's an Anthelon XP uh, processor. I believe it's the 2800, so it runs two gigahertz. Um, and it's got one and a half gigs of DDR, uh, 400 megahertz RAM. <laughs> it's fast stuff, right? But it's really hard to find one of these working in the wild. You know, you might have some that somebody cobbled together, but this is actually a computer that was built way back in the day. Um, it wasn't posting when the customer brought it in, and they brought it in because they had some really old family uh, photos of when they went back to the old country, and they have some photos of uh, family members that uh, may have passed away, and they they just didn't make backup copies of it. And so the reason why it wasn't working was um, somebody had actually dropped it's like grease or oil onto the graphics card and uh, it actually shorted out the card and you can actually see the one of the ceramic capacitors had broke had actually burnt out in the card and this is the card itself I'm gonna bring it down a vision tech PCI it's not even PCI Express it's a PCI uh, video card and uh, I'm going to turn it around and you can actually see where there's like grease or oil or soup or whatever it was but it dropped on here you can still see the you still see, see that um, residual like sugar or whatever it was but I'm going to point to this is a ceramic capacitor here and this is a ceramic capacitor that's just burnt out and then you see this trace here yeah uh, I don't know how well you can see it but there you go it's actually burnt and you can actually see that burn mark on the uh, on the motherboard itself so I was really not expecting the motherboard to post but what I did was I connected the uh, VJ connector to the onboard video and voila it posted problem was that we couldn't get the uh, customers uh, um, uh, operating system to post correctly so you know took out the hard drive and did a check this on it and eventually I'm gonna turn this around sorry if it's shaky we got the customers computer to or the operating system to post and it is running <coughs> excuse me Windows XP professional service pack 3 but get this guys it's a bootleg you know Windows XP was one of the most bootleg programs so I don't think this customer knew what they were doing when they had this thing built um, but the thing is it is running uh, let's see so I'm gonna zoom in on that rocking a XP 2800 plus 2 gigahertz processor <laughs> well like I said, the most important thing is we were able to get their photos up. So this, their uh, operating system actually finally booted up and we were able to save the, the family photos and that was the most important thing. The computer has a sentimental value to the customer. Um, used to be their sons and uh, it's pretty old as you can see. The case is vanilla up. Um, inside is really messed up. Um, I'm going to try to uh, save the computer for the customer. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. Uh, save the, uh, I think I can put in an old uh, 5200 AGP card because it does have an AGP slot and I, I believe the AGP slot is going to be working. It's on a, it's on a uh, different uh, circuit and it should be enough. And I, can, I don't know if this is AGP 4 or 8X, but it doesn't matter. It's just a 5200, better than onboard video. Uh, I don't know if it's better than the uh, X1300 PCI, but there's definitely a big difference between PCI and then AGP in terms of speed. So hopefully this will, you know, it's not like you're going to be doing anything HD on it, but just to get a better display out of the uh, out of the computer. And uh, well, it's kind of strange, but I'm putting a, <laughs> we put some elbow grease into this one and uh, uh, see what we can do in terms of like you know. Um, tuning it up and uh, getting it back into decent working order. I don't know if I can actually get the customer a, a working copy of Windows XP. As all of you know, Windows XP has not been supported for quite a while. I don't even know if the activation servers are still up, but we'll see what we can do for them. Okay, so we're back now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been a, a couple days since I uh, shot the first half of this video, but the computer is uh, back together. Um, what I found out was the the audio card, the Creative Sound Blaster card was damaged. Um, it just wouldn't uh, work normally, so I basically went and dug around the internet and found the the onboard audio drivers, the VIA audio drivers for this motherboard, this MSI board. I installed it and it works. 
Um, a fan was bad on there. There was an exhaust fan that was uh, something you plug into like uh, the PCI slot there. Um, and that went bad. The only one that's actually working is the uh, an old Antec fan. As you can see, uh, it's blue and it's down there. But it's quite noisy. It's not dead, but it's... Um, and since uh, I couldn't get a uh, uh, an AGP card with a fan to work on this computer for whatever reason, I did install the uh, old HP uh, uh, NVIDIA FX 5200 uh, uh, AGP card, and it does work. And so this fan is going to be, you know, basically blowing onto the heat sink of the graphics card, cooling it down a little bit. I did some cable management the best I could, considering uh, what we had to work with. So everything is rebanded. Um, the system builder had the uh, CPU fan exhausting air, not actually, you know, intaking air. So I basically just flipped that around. And um, uh, we got Windows XP. Uh, I couldn't up, I could not uh, enter a new uh, key. So on previous versions of Windows XP, um, you can actually uh, force a new key into Windows XP. Uh, and I tried that and it didn't work. And so basically what I did was I did a registry hack and I removed the Windows uh, activation or the Windows, I'm sorry, it's the XP counterfeit um, notice that would pop up here, which is very annoying. It give you a timer, um, but I'm gonna open up the uh, owners. You can see the audio works and such. And that's, uh, I'm the only cameraman again, so please bear with me. So basically, what I did was I turned off all the updates after I did the registry hack so that they can actually have a background and uh, things wouldn't pop up. So I did turn off the, I did turn off the updates because the computer, we can't update it if it, uh, if it wasn't a legit copy anyway. And I don't even know if the activation servers or the update servers are still working on Windows XP. Uh, the last time I was able to uh, activate a copy of XP was uh, almost two years ago. And so, yeah, everything does work. Um, the graphics pop up pretty nice now. It's it's still, uh, you know, Windows XP is kind of snappy. And so we have a uh, service pack three on here. Uh, Windows uh, is activated oddly enough, but like I said, since it didn't pass uh, uh, their, the Windows uh, genuine verification uh, software, it, the last set of updates may have been years ago. Um, but then again, if you're using XP right now, uh, hopefully you're not going online with it you're just using it to run software or you know to interface with uh, uh, devices and such you know and there's still a lot of programs that are out there for XP so some people still do use it offline of course but yeah it does uh, it's let's say if we go online I believe Firefox is the only browser that's still supported believe it or not Safari won't work uh, at least not on this CPU because it doesn't have an, ex an instruction set for um, Safari and Opera uh, but Google Chrome, I'm sorry, Firefox still uh, works. So um, in terms of just browsing and checking your email and everything, it should still be fine. And uh, that's about it. YouTube on this, not a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure about uh, onboard video. It should be okay. You should be able to play some uh, onboard, um, uh, like, you know, video files and such, and it should play fairly decently. But anything online uh, with this old of a computer, you know, just really, really wouldn't be a nice browsing experience. But again, this is just a, uh, it's something that doesn't come in very often. It's something that's pretty old tech. Um, and I just want to do a quick video about it because, you know, uh, it's something you don't see that uh, out in the wild that's actually working that much anymore. So any questions or uh, comments, please post them at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching, guys.